What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, we are Phoenix Souls. We got a store located in Phoenix, Arizona. But we're not in Phoenix today. As you guys can see behind us, we got a huge line. We are out here in San Antonio, Texas for SneakerCon. We're super excited. We, Like we said, we have a shop back in Arizona, but we're always out at the events, cashing out, buying stuff. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It means the world to us. We're super new on YouTube still, so we're trying to grow as much as we can. So make sure you run up the likes as well as comment down below, because we're always giving $30 away to a free comment but like I said we're out here San Antonio Texas today we're gonna be buying cashing out looking to just spend honestly I'm looking to spend a, a good amount of money today hopefully we can find some vendors that will work with us on prices and stuff like that but that's pretty much it for that but before we go in there we want to get a little fit check going on today because I'm kind of feeling myself I feel like um, I feel like I'm dripped today I, I wanted to come out and dress to, dress to the occasion so right on top of my head right here we got the uh, Valentine's Day Tigers hat you don't really see this one too often you see the Valentine's Day but you don't see the Tigers too often as well as I got I kind of a little iced out today decided to wear throw a throw a three-piece on today as well as I got the Phoenix Souls merch on if you guys want any of this merch or out of state we are shipping it we have some left um, it, it's starting to get super low we have hoodies and we have t-shirts but if you want any or are local Phoenix make sure you stop by the shop um, but yes yeah, so I got the shirt on today cactus plant inspired and got the back hit on it as well as I am so gassed on these pants. I picked these up when we were at, where were we at? San Diego. San Diego. We were at Kobe Swap Meet. I picked these up. Well, That's a drip. That's a drip. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I didn't pick these up at Kobe Swap Meet, but we picked them up while we were out there at Louis, as well as I got on the ICAs right here. I haven't broke these out for quite some time, so I'm pretty happy to break these out. I wanted to, like I said, come drift out today. This is our first sneaker con of the year. We weren't able to make it to Fort Lauderdale, or was it Vancouver? We weren't able to make it to those, but we're here today at this one, as well as we got Noah before you probably see something a little different. I was saying, before we get into anything, I don't have the Stussy hat on today. Yes. But I decided to do something different with my hair. I'm gonna do some different colors. I like doing it, so that's new. But today I got a little simple fit on. I got this blank feature tee. Shout out to feature coming to Arizona soon. And then down below, I got just some undefeated cargo pants on the nice tones. And then on the feet, I got the on model ones. Shout out to Kyle for gifting these. These are my Christmas presents here. Christmas, but, uh, yeah. Busting them out. So a little clean, simple fit today, but I'm digging it. I'm what are you gonna get in there? What are you looking at? What are you looking to see in, at the show today? Like I got sold, what I really liked was all the PEs and samples and stuff. That's what I enjoy seeing. So I'm excited to go in there. Hopefully there's like some crazy tables with samples and PEs. That's the stuff I like to see. So but it's huge, the line's packed, so it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. So we're excited to get in there. Well yeah, we're gonna head in there and see what we can cash out on. Do you have any wiggle room on these ones? Like 360? I'll do 360. I'm gonna take. I'll take a lot off you. 380? Do 370? I'll take more. I'm gonna take more for sure. But right, what you have Matt for? That's fine. Is that fine? Depends on what else you take. Okay. All right. What about these? What are these ones? Uh, they're called Solstice. What are they? Solstice. 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 What are they? Have they dropped yet? Uh, Europe only. Europe only? Are they coming out in the US? No? These are pretty sick. Solstice, they're called. I really like these a lot. This is a women's 10 and a half, a men's nine. I don't want to pick these up. What's the lowest you can do on these ones? We're at 220, 210 last sale. I don't know, I don't want to be too low on you. I feel like it's worth more than what it's going for, to be honest. I could probably do like 220. 220? Can you do uh, the, the 370 on the core purples? Alright, I'll take these for 220. Alright, right. right, he's working with me, he's working with me. Good prices, not too bad. He's got a good little selection of stuff for sure. He's got some pretty crazy stuff like dead stock. Chicago's right here. He said everything's dead stock. 1980. He's got like some Hollow's Eve Blazers. Got some Amas, more Amas, Travis's. Bunch of good stuff. I might grab these, honestly. You know, we've been on our New Balance wave. I still haven't bought myself a pair yet because I know once I buy one, I'm gonna start going crazy and buying too many of them. So far, we got two pairs off of them. What's the best you can do on these ones? I'd probably be at three on them. Three? Yeah. I can do like 330. You can't do three? If we do 320, I'll take them. Does that work? Okay. Union Dunks. Probably try to pick these ones up. The price finally lowered on these once they like officially released. What's your best on these ones? What do you think? I do like 380 on them. They're at like four. Can you do four? I do 380 on them probably. I'll probably take that off. 
Hold on these ones? Okay. These are kind of crazy. I haven't even seen these yet. This was such a silent release. Uh, Europe. Europe exclusive? Okay, yeah. This is such a silent release. Just with all of them, all the colorways. Nobody was really hyping these up when they came out. What's the best you can do on these ones? A nine and a half. Actually, I'll do both of them. I'll take both of them. What do you think? 460 and 440, 900. You have them at five and 480. I'll take both of them. That's really good. They're a size nine and a half, a size 12. I gotta be on those prices right now. You can't move anything? Can you do 480 and 460? I'll take both of them. I gotta be on those prices. Can you do 480? 12's at a good price. That's super solid. All right, I'll take the 12. He's doing super solid prices. We're definitely gonna shout this homie out after I cash him out for sure. What's the best you can do on these ones? Probably four. Just because it's not gonna move as quick, but I mean, it's like, it's a cool shoe. We like buying them because they're, I can do four if you want. I'll take these ones. Huh? Okay. Can you do like 410? 420. Let me 410, that's 1820. Huh? Of course. Yeah, I got you. All right, for sure. Yeah. All right, man. So, picking up one, two, three, five pairs. So that's gonna be it. I'm gonna grab those for right now, bro. Shout out to this homie, first cash out of the day. He definitely worked with me super, super well. Like the off-white dunks was like 60 under lowest ass. The uh, New Balances were like 30 under lowest ass. The those one dunks that I got, I can't remember the name. Europe exclusive. I paid pretty much lowest ass, but I might be keeping those honestly. Those are really clean. Even if we'll probably throw them in the store for 300, pay 220. So and then I, we also got a poor purple 1.0 in a grade school, which you don't ever see. So I was like, I'm gonna snag those up. So shout out to the homie right here. What's your Instagram? KCMO Souls. KCMO dot S O L E Z. Hey, make sure you check him out. He blessed. He gave good prices for sure. Are you out in San Antonio? Kansas City. Kansas the city oh nice okay for sure we'll give you a follow on the instagram too bro i appreciate it man thank you that's what i like to see right there young reseller hooking us up for some good prices um he's got a great table as you can see he's got a whole bunch of stuff he said he's out in kansas city so he's grinding he's on the move but shout out to him for sure like that was some great great prices like almost store prices so shout out to him what's up man how much do you want on these where'd you get all these just been these are colored black and whites black whites uh 2000 i want to say 2014 you don't got no prices on your stuff What's going off this? I'll give you a great deal, bro. Good find them. They are a 6 wide. Also 15. What you offer? What the? 1500? I'll probably be way too low on you then. I mean, I don't. Jesus. What do you want for them? No, I don't want to hear. I, well, what's a hookup? 12? Okay, what do you want on these? I, I just, these are, this is going to be a hard sale, man, for the price they go for. That's, that's, I didn't know they went for that much. What do you want for these ones? Let's see what size are these six. You take them both, a thousand each. A thousand each? Yeah, you take those for a thousand, I'll do, I'll do 800. 800 on these? I'm knocking off 500 off of that. I know, I, I mean, I don't, I, I just gonna, that's gonna be a hard sale, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm interested in other stuff too, like the Chicago's, I'm interested in these two. I'm just trying to figure out some prices. Seven. Seven? Yeah. Uh, okay, what do you want on these I mean, ones? Just because I know I can get rid of those. Yeah. The Valentine's Day. Yeah, the Valentine's Days. That's those 465, will be four, seven, that's 11. We could do just a G flat. A G flat for these two? Yeah, take them. Okay, I'm, I'll think on these ones, I'll put them right here. What about these? Man, I wish these were a nine. I'm looking for these my size. Highest bid's a thousand. Highest bid's a thousand. What would you do on them? Take me off here. I don't, it's just, the, it's it's tough with this stuff because it's not like there's an actual like market, set market for it. Like there's bids, there's- 1250. 1250? Okay, I'd probably be too low on any of these. I, I, be a, I'd be like- You can't get for less than 2,000 dollars? Yeah. I mean, you can if you're patient, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not. Where are you gonna find them, gonna find them exactly? No, I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong. What, what do you want for those? I'll give you like a thousand. You do 11. I can't, man, I do like a thousand. That's it's fine. just, a thousand's fine? No, no, 11. 11, okay. I, it's not a bad price, man, especially for personal. If I was buying it for myself, I definitely would. Yeah, so it's 654. What, what are you thinking? Bro, these are just crazy, the prices are going for. Yeah. Uh, well, I have all these. This is, what we, this is what we specialize in is like the older stuff. But we always say it's usually more so. You don't find these dead stock, any of these. So that's why I'm saying. I got a fucking got 20 pairs of these. 20 men, 20 kids, but not here. You come take them all, you're a good deal. Where do you get them all from? The malls. Huh? The malls. You just sit on them? Sit on them. Would you do 15 for these three? We could do 16, bro. You can take them. Oh, man. 16. It's just all 
original stuff? Did oh, you find like a storage, storage unit? Or what? It looks storage unit. Damn, damn. I did. Yeah. Huh? They're all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying like them. sometimes people run into storage units. <laughs> oh, no. No? Uh, run into storage units. Oh, yeah. I get all this shit from the three malls in San Antonio. Rock and Better, North Star, England. I mean, but these have not came out since 2016. Sitting there, That's crazy. Got fucking 40 space jams sitting in the storage unit right now. Getting bring everything. Jesus. Some fucking the top everything. What do you got on these ones? right I believe 2015 I, I saw his uh, band Jordan ones the breads and then I saw his storm blues and all of them I, I've been doing this a long time I legit checked for I've been doing this for, for quite a long time not that old but I've been doing it since I was like 10 years old so I've always been reselling and I just told him I was like these are just not looking they looked a little fishy and he had receipts for all of them like every single one he's like I have 40 pairs of UNC's I have like 30 pairs of uh, reverse shatter backboards I'm like dude it, doesn't, it, just, it wasn't adding up. So I was like, I, I took the pairs that I thought looked pretty decent, which was the Valentine's Day Jordan ones, the GS pair, and then it was the uh, top three GS pair, and then it was the reverse shot backward GS pair. And then I just told him, I was like, you know, they look good, but would, would it be cool if we went to the eBay booth and got them double legit checked? And then he was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And as time went on, uh, he was like, gonna grab the boxes. I was like, can we grab the boxes and take them over there? And then he just started getting like heated. I mean, Noah didn't even want to film because he could tell the tension was building. Yeah. Yeah, he knew. He came up to us after we were talking. Yeah, and he just knew. Like he knew I, I was onto him, and I, I was like, I was smelling the shoes. I was looking at the shape of the Jordan ones, everything, and I could just tell they were off. The GS pairs looked a lot better than the men's pair. And he's like, I got Foot Locker receipts, all these receipts, everything and anything. And he's like, he's like, what you mean the receipts? Like I have a receipt, and, this, and I'm like, dude, they make fake receipts all the time. And then I was like, all right, well that's, you know, I'm not saying they're fake, man, but let's just go get them legit checked. And he was like, nah. He's like, I'm good. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm not getting them legit checked. And I'm like, okay, well that's a red flag right there. You don't want to go get your stuff legit checked. Also, uh, I was telling Noah off camera that, you know, Lois asked, last sale on those reverse shattered backboards was 1400 Last sale. And he was going to give them to me for six. Payouts like That's eight. why I was trying to see if I can get him a little bit lower to see if he keep going lower, which he did. And I was like, payouts probably at over $1,000. Why would this guy be selling these for this cheap? I also wanted to know that I did look at some of his pairs, like the black and white highs, the uh, ones that I first looked at in the video. Um, I want to say there was yellowing on them, so there was age on them. So I don't know if he just had some pairs that were mixed up that were fake or what the men's pairs were 100,000 fake though i can say that the gs was you know it was i wanted a second opinion on them honestly that's why i just wasn't comfortable buying them so that's why i was like let's just go get a second opinion on them but like the the black
black and white GS pair, I believe, from 2013. Um, they had yellowing on them. They're definitely old. So that's why I was like, those look pretty good. But he said he got everything retail. Every single one of those shoes, he said he got retail. So I'm like, if he got every single one of them retail and the, and the UNCs are no good, you know, the bands are no good. I'm like, I was just, I don't know if he was mixing fakes with reels to just like cover them up or, or what was going on. I hope we got good video of me looking at those UNCs. The shape was way off on them. And the smell, like Noah was saying, the glue, the glue smell on them was terrible. That's the number one thing with, with reps. It's always gonna be the smell. That shoe is from, I can't remember. I think the UNCs are uh, 2015. That shoe's five, five plus years old. It should not have a brand new smell to it. The smell should be gone. After like two to three years, that, that dead stock smell is gonna go away. And it had that fresh smell to it, so, which means it's fresh out of the factory. So if it's fresh out of the factory and it's five plus years old, like I said, some of the pairs did look pretty good. I just wanted, I just wanted a double legit check. That's all I wanted. That's all I was asking the guy and he just wasn't with it. And it was just red flag. So just make sure you guys look out, watch out. You never know out here. Just get a second opinion. It doesn't hurt. So we're a store and we're getting a second opinion. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt when you're, when you're not totally comfortable. I just wish we would have recorded more. His stories just weren't adding up with where he got stuff, saying he got like, bro, how do you have 40 pairs of UNC Jordan 1 highs? I'm sorry, but you're not, you're not, I, the shoe's been out for eight years or seven, six, five years. You're not going to keep stocking up on those. Reverse Shatter Backward uh, Jordan 1s and GS pairs, they're at $1,500 lowest ass. Last sale was $1,500. Why, why are you still stocking up on those and selling them for $600 in an event? So it just didn't, it didn't add up, didn't, add, didn't make sense. Just because you guys are at events, like just be careful, seriously. As you can see over there, there's an eBay booth right there, authentication. You know, we have a store, so we're able to check this stuff pretty good. But don't trust everybody just because we're at an event. You know, it is what it is. So don't always believe everything you see at SneakerCon, Kobe Swap Me, Got Soul, Heated Soul, any event, you never know. So just looking out for y'all. All right, guys, so we found the private selection booth. We wanted to show you guys some of the unreleased stuff that they have because if you guys know them, watch them. If you're watching us, you're watching them. That's for sure. So if you want to show some of the unreleased stuff that they have, that's what they specialize in is unreleased stuff. They always do unreleased videos, a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of stuff to go through here. So I'm going to just pick up some of my favorites. What is this one? Oh, this is the Certified Lover Boys. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at wow. The stars. Look right here. The star, okay, yeah, no stars. They got hearts instead of stars. I mean, leather quality though is, it's it's pretty good. It's a couple different versions of them. Look at the inside, it says Nocta, right, on the, in the insole. What does it say? Oh yeah. It's Union Cortez's right here, super crazy. Super, super crazy, size eight and a half men's. Billy Eilish Air Forces. All right, we're putting those back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what, oh, these are the. Are these the Jack Air Trainers. Wow. What's on the inside of that? not feeling these personally. I know a lot of OGs in the game. I know a lot of OGs in the game like this shoe, this silhouette. It's not my favorite. Cody, actually, at the shop, loves this silhouette. I don't know why, but he does love it. Okay, these are kind of fire. I like these a lot, actually. It is like a red Travis Scott, almost. These are pretty sick. I actually really, really like these a lot. And uh, leather quality seems pretty good. It's definitely a different color blocking, but it's it, this is pretty sick. I like this a lot, honestly. They're not too bad. Would I wear them? Probably not, but this is definitely a cool, you like these? Yeah. I, I think these are pretty cool. I like them. This is officially Virgil's last shoe. Virgil's last shoe? Yeah, that he made. Oh, wow. And then he's also got, these are not it. I'm sorry. So I'm not feeling either of these personally. I think these are both pretty terrible. For the snow. But for the snow, yeah, for the snow. I like those. Bro. Okay, you got these. These, if anybody knows, anybody's been in the game for a while, these look like green glow fours, yeah. but with the red yeah. instead of the green glow. You got the high tops right here, vintage high tops. These are super sick. I don't know why they're doing this like metallic material on it. I don't get it. The navy pair lows, they did the normal material. And then the green are so fire, but they did this, like I said, this sparkly material, and I don't really know what's going on with it. These are pretty cool. I actually really like I heard these. Those are super, super, super limited. Yeah, these are actually really, really cool. I like these a lot. Amaz, we showed these at the Got Soul video. If you guys tuned into that, go check that video out. We got some other dunks right here. These are pretty cool. I don't know the exact name. I'm guessing St. Patrick's Day. Celtics. These are super cool. I like these a lot. These are definitely different. I don't know what's going on right here. You got like a little sled. Oh, Christmas. Here is this colorway right here. I'm, I would say I like this colorway a little bit better. Now that I have this pair in hand, I 
like this pair more. That's just me. It's not this, as vibrant. This is very, very clean. It's not as vibrant. That's a perfect way to put it. It's not as vibrant as me and Noah both thought they were gonna be. This one's fire. I'm, I'm gonna need a pair of these ones. I'm definitely getting these ones. I love when Union puts this little tag on it. It's just so like clean and sick, especially like on the ones. They did on the fours too, right? Yeah. Yeah, they did on the fours too. This one's really nice, but I didn't think it was like, this is, I like this more personally. Both super sick. These are super limited, I heard. As well as you got these, we show these on our channel. Uh, we have a pair of these at the shop. And then you got these ones. These ones are way, way, way better than these. These ones are super clean. We showed these off in the Kobe's video. Laced up. Yep, laced up, looking clean. Travis Lowe's right here, great quality. These are, these are nice, man. I'm gonna need these when they come out. I'm gonna need those blue uh, unions when they come out. Yeah, and they threw these guys in the microwave. <laughs> you didn't check out their video. So as you guys know, there's a Civilist Dunk and they just came out the Civilist Air Force One. I think these are pretty ugly. I'm not liking these at all. Let's see. They got the color changing on them, the heat sensors. It's like, and it's not as vibrant either. Yeah. It's not as like vibrant. The, the what to call ones, the dunks, those things light up like crazy. You got all the private selection homies right here. Want to come over to their booth, check them out. Stay tuned to the next video. We are going to be heading over to Dallas, like a three hour drive. We're working, we're getting this content out for you guys. So we're going to head out to Dallas tomorrow. So stay tuned for that video. That video will be next. We're going to go to the shop tomorrow, but you guys are going to be there, huh? No. It's going to be a little we'll be bit. Back. We'll be back Monday, really. If you want something while you're there, yeah. just DM one of us and we'll okay. make sure our employees... I just want to go check it out. I've always wanted to go by, oh, yeah. so... Yeah, it's something you've got to... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you go in, the room, in, in what we call the private room, which is the, that crazy million plus Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so, crazy stuff watch all your stuff. I appreciate everything you guys do, for awesome, sure. We be, we be getting inspiration for videos for you guys. Amazing. So, I appreciate you guys. Uh, Great to see you again. Yes, Thank good to see you. Yeah, Thank you so man. much. Thank you guys. We stopped by your booth and checked out all those uh, pairs, too. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. How much did you want for them? 385 for them. 380? You have any wiggle room on them? What do you got? I mean, I'm honestly at three, but I don't know what, like, I don't know what your lowest is. I don't want to be too low on you. I paid 320, so. Okay, I mean, could you do that? I mean, I know you want to probably want to make a little, 340? They're pretty clean. Were they your personals? Or you just bought them to flip? Yeah, I'll grab them for 340, I got you. So shout out to the homie. He just walked up to us. Uh, we bought a pair of UNC threes off them. They are used, but they're super clean. Gave us a really good deal on them. And you paid 320, you said? I'm you paid 340? Oh, you're just getting your money back? Yeah. Oh, I think you said you paid 320. Well, he's getting his money back. All right, man. There's 340 for you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. A bunch of people have been coming up to us. Same with stuff from the YouTube. The homie what's wanted to be up? on the channel. What's up? Hey, yeah. I appreciate the support, man. Hey, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, man. I like Thank your you. Shit, dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is all the old sneaker cons, heated soles, all that type of stuff. This is where I used to be back in the day in my young days. Right here, the trade pit. This is the grinding session right here. As you can see, it starts here. It goes all the way over there. There's a bunch of more people trading over and down there. This is where the real grinders are, so the young hustlers are this is where I used to be back in the day and uh, salute to the people honestly I'm probably gonna run through here and see if we can find some stuff maybe not right now but probably you know throughout the event we're gonna be here all day so we're gonna check it out and see what these guys got to offer but like I said this is where the grinders are trading pit you're young and you're looking to make some money looking to buy some shoes always hit up the trading pit first what size are they With, uh, these are 10 how much did you want for them I got the receipt in there uh, I'm asking three asking three yeah. what's lowest ass right now do you know man I got no one no internet service? Okay. Do you want to be on YouTube? Are you yes. good? Yeah. No. <laughs> she said yes. 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 Is Armand here? Tell Armand's me. not here. No. He's not. It's just you us. Shine, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys' names? Pablo. Pablo. Cynthia. Cynthia. Yeah. Nancy. Nancy. Kathy. All right. So shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for coming up and saying what's up and showing support. He's got some Yeezys, so we might buy them off of him. If you can do 280, I'll take them. 280 probably my max. If not, I understand. This is probably where I'd be at on them. Yeah, man, I want you a lot, Nick. Just because it's you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank All you, right. thank you. Appreciate it. I'm gonna grab you the cash real quick. Right. Should be 280, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thank you very much.
much, man. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Shout out to all those guys that came out to us, little family. They were super, super nice. They wanted to show love. The guy didn't want to be on the camera, but the, uh, his wife, I'm guessing, called him a, called him a wimp and said he needs to be on camera. So shout out to them. We bought some dazzling blues off of them. I'm not even buying Yeezys like that right now, but if there is any I'm buying, it's these. We sell these like crazy. So I don't really know why. Probably because it's just kind of like the Black Friday, like the old Black Friday ones that came out back in the day. But super clean colorway. Paid 280 for them. Not too bad. He didn't want to do 280, but he said he watched us and wants to support us. So shout out to him. They got some crazy, crazy stuff in here. It's like pretty much an all off white, or almost an all off white case. Look at the fours though. They got like the Louis Vuitton basketball. These bags are absolutely crazy. Man. The, this, if I could have anything here, it'd probably be one of these duffels. These are sick. Off white lot one zones. You got red Octobers. You got the MCAs, the ICAs. Off white fours. Bunch of random stuff. They got Serena Blazers in here. Got a little OG over here, some Stussies. They got some OG Band Ones. We got a pair of those in the shop right now. Got some Travis's, off whites. Super, super crazy booth. We're definitely going to be getting some B roll this booth. What's the lowest you can do on these ones? What's the market looking like? Hey, Three, 360 last sale. Lowest ass is 360. 369. Not much lower than okay, that. Okay. Like 370. 370, okay. I understand. Yeah, how much you want for them? Yeah, I can't pay 360. That's a, that's over lowest ass right now. I can do like 320. Yeah, lowest ass is 350. That's probably where I'd be at, but. It, I can't, bro. I could do like 320. That's probably my max. Pick these boys up, the drafts. Pretty clean, size 12. Paid 320 for them. Shout out to the homies right here. Hey, hey slidey on Instagram. Check them out. Check them out. Hey, drop a follow. We got the best deals, bro. Hey, best deals. I was only able to pick up one shoe for the best deals. Maybe not. But <laughs> maybe not a sneaker con. Hey, but shout out to them. Appreciate you guys. Now, we didn't get a close up of the other homies booth that we said was selling the foo-foo shoes, but this is how they're supposed to look. Shape was totally off on the other ones. The smell, like this, the way these smell, this is, this is, okay. 2015, like I said, 2015, you should have like no smell, if not maybe a little bit, nothing crazy. The other one smelled like it was straight out of the factory. They definitely were no good at all. The color looks good on these. The shape is right on them. Like I said, main thing with these the older Jordans, it should be the smell. Like they shouldn't have any smell with them. So like these look solid for sure. But like I said, those other ones at the other boot, after seeing these ones, for sure, I know that those were no good. This is the homie back yes, at the heated sole. We cashed them out heavy. Yes, sir. I didn't even know you were here, man. I yeah, I came. know. I saw you over there, but then I was like, man, where'd you go? You took off. Damn. Damn. Yeah, we cashed them out a while back. Hell yeah. You got good prices again? I mean, let's work. All right, I got you. I want to take a lot, like the majority of yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. a lot of this let's if we can. Let's do it, let's do it, please. All right, probably too low on your music. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably, I mean, I'd probably sell these around like 420 myself. So that's why I'm saying I'd probably be way too low on you. What do you think? I don't know what your lowest. I'll toss something out. Go for it. Uh, I, <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know, bro, like 320. Ooh. That's what I'm saying, probably about too. 360. That's not a bad price, bro. It's just not a whole lot of margin yeah, 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 for yeah. me on my end. How about, how about 350? I probably couldn't. No? I probably couldn't. If they were a little bit, they're not, they're not super bad. Like the midsole is, it's not terrible. But it probably can be clean, but. Let's come back to these. Okay. Damn these. What do you think? I'd probably be at four. They're like 440 right now. I can do 420. I'd be kind of high just because they're brand new. Okay. Yeah, I'll think about these ones. Uh, Let's see here. Black and white, so you're flexible at all or no? A little bit. Okay, how what do you got on them? I mean 280 each. Man, we're at 260 a pop right now. I know, now. I know. It's, it's a little tough. Uh let's see. Let's see, let's see. I still have faith. I still have faith. We can grab some stuff. Are you pretty high? Are you pretty firm in your mochas? Um what's your offer on? Or what, what, which ones do you like? <laughs> what's your lowest on the 10? I mean they're lo like 520 lowest ass. Is that what they're at? Now? Yeah. Uh, 530, 520 last sale. It's like 550 too much? Heat? Probably, yeah. Okay, okay. What's the best you, what's the best you can do on the six? 560? Okay, that was at 540. 550, meet me in the middle. I'll meet you in the middle if you do four on those Brazils. Four and then 550? Yeah. On the six. This one now. And four? Okay. Shout out to the homie. What's your Instagram again? Check him out. He really does bless. Like we said, go check out our heated soul video, our old heated soul video. <laughs> A while ago, yes, but sir. appreciate you, man. Yes, sir, appreciate we'll see you, you next time. Yes, Have a good one. Too, How much did you want on these ones? Uh, 520. 520. What about the great school uh, Thunders? Uh, these are 210, um, and these are size 7. These are going for uh, 290. 
you do like 270 on them? 290 for them? You can't do two, like 280? I'll do 280, let me double check here. Yeah, I'll grab these for 280, the size seven. These are starting to uh, creep up, these Red Thunders, for sure, especially the grade school pairs. They were going for nothing at one point. They were like almost under 200. Where's well, 280 for those? Appreciate the man, check them out, kicks and tings. All right, man, thank you, bro. Yes, have a good one. You do 340, I'll take them. You wanna do it? All right, I got you. Can I see the other one, just cause they are used? They're super clean though. Little PSG, used pair right here. He has my 360, it's already a pretty solid price. I offered him 340, said he could do it, so. Checking out the other pair real quick, just cause they are used. Cool bro, yeah, look good, they're super clean. All right, there's 340 for you. Thank you, man. Right. Yes, you have a good one. With the homie right here. Yes, sir. Sold us an Oreo 350. Shout out to him. Yes, sir. Your uh, Instagram, you got Instagram or anything? Caesar underscore R1325. Check him out, check him out. But yeah, sold us, picked him up for 300. Three, bro. I appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. Size 13, lot 11. Are they new? Yeah, brand new. I can work a little bit on this one. What can you do? Six. That's what they're at. Yeah. Like exactly what they're at, yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna like my offer. <laughs> I do like 540, that'd be my max. 540's last sale. It's just kind of tough, man. It's, yeah, I mean, it's a, like I said, if you don't want to, I totally understand. Yeah, uh, I wish it wasn't a 13. Let's see if we have anything else. What size are the camos? It's a pre-owned though, but it's really clean. I'll show you the other one too, it's an eight, but I can really work with this one if you really want. Is it a men's eight? Yes. I don't know, I'd probably be too low. I mean, I'd, I'd probably sell them for 200 myself. They're at 230, like 140. You want to do 140? All right, I'll do 140. Yeah, these are cool, I'll pick these ones up. You don't want the muslin for 280? I can't pay 280, I pay like 260. They're at 280, 280's lowest ass. 270. I could do 260. Runner, you gonna take these two. Okay, let me just double check, make sure I'm not wrong. Cool. What size are they? Eight and a half. Eight and a half men's? Yes. All right, 260's fine, yeah. Picking up these. I want to pick more of these up today. I'm kind of happy I'm picking a pair of these up. These are pretty clean colorway. Just dropped pretty much today. I want these. Yeezys in small sizes like this fly. Girls love small size Yeezys. You can't, you can't do, you can't do that on these ones. What? The three. I mean that's 1,900. Take both the seven and a halfs. Three or five. I can't. I pay three. That's the max I can pay. Like really, that really is. Like that's me. Not, I don't even want to pay that high, but. That's cool. Is that fine? That's cool. All right. What size of the pine greens? Last one is 11 and a half. How much do you want for those? Uh, I'm asking 280. Yeah, they're at 248. Uh, Probably way too low. What's low? What's way too low? I could pay 220. That's my max, so I can't pay nothing over that. 230? I can't. 220 be my max. You want to do it? All right. Take it. Well, shout out to the homie. Uh, you got an Instagram or anything? Absolutely. 917 supply.co. All right. Check them out. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas? Yes, okay, sir. nice. Picked up a little seven, seven pack, right? Three, four, five, six, seven pack. Yep. Picked up a little seven pack from him. Shout out to him. Look this up. We're able to, you know, get some stuff before we head out. I know that's the best time to, uh, you know, get deals for the most part. I'm about to start walking around too. Yeah. Yeah, myself. <laughs> exactly. So I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. All right, guys. We just wrapped up over at SneakerCon. We were trying to record at the venue, but uh, we're having some audio troubles, and we have these lovely girls all around us that are giving us audio troubles too. A bunch of 15 year old girls, so shout out to them. But we wrapped up at SneakerCon, great, great event. Um, probably one of the best SneakerCons I've been to. Super nice, lots of great people, like super friendly people. We had, I don't even I don't even know how many pictures I took. Yeah, so shout out to y'all, like just all the support dude. was just absolutely amazing. Me and Noah took so many pictures. Thank you guys so much. Like seriously, cannot even express how like thankful we are. Like we have literally are nothing yet. We're gonna keep growing, we're gonna keep getting bigger. We're gonna keep striving to get more views. Shout out to y'all. Uh, please like this video if you guys have not already. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys made it this far, once again, shout out to y'all. Shout out to you guys, especially because some of these pairs you guys will see, uh, we picked up from some of you guys that watch the channel. Uh, also, like, thank you guys that do come up to us for like, what you guys say. It's always, you guys always yeah, give people, us like, good feedback, mm -hmm. positive, like, motivation stuff. And that, it really does matter. Yeah, no, it really does. And uh, it keeps us going. And a lot of people came up and asked us, you know, how do I start reselling? Not how do I start reselling, but Tips and how advice. do I grow? How do I get my own store? How do I, you know, just grow my inventory. How do I get these mar like everything? Like, and I am, I am all ears. I help everybody with everything. I started reselling when I was 10 years old on eBay. Yeah. That's how I started. That's, so that's our favorite part of going to events. Like, bro, we see this stuff all the time. We see this stuff every day. We're, Seeing we're, this stuff does not excite me. It takes a lot of, for you to excite me. Yeah, and I literally like when, when, when we tell you we've seen everything. We've pretty much seen everything. That's what we like, like this. doing is, is talking to you guys, having those conversations, meeting you guys if we don't know you, obviously, and just. 
answering questions yeah. and just chopping it up. And it's like our favorite part. Also say that it's not a money thing either. We're not here to make money. Like we have, we make way more money if we just stayed at home, at, at home <laughs> and had people bring our shoes to the shop. Awesome. But we got lots of shoes to get through right now. So uh, we'll get through all of them. Yep. If you want to just grab them and I'll, yeah, and I'll go. Size, size 12 right here, PSG 4. Uh, pick these up from the first guy, first vendor. I think I paid 420 for these. Paid 420 for these. Shout out to that kid. Uh, he's a young kid, maybe 16, 17, yeah, maybe. Grinding. Super young from Kansas City. So shout out to him. As so well as we got a little pine green. Size 11 and a half. Size 11 and a half right here. Paid 220 for these boys. Nothing too exciting here. Some red thunders. Pick these up. Paid 280 for these. Lowest ass like 320. After fees is like almost 400. It's like 390 or something like that. A little new release. Um, he's just released actually. What's the name again? I always forget. Muslin, 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 one of the two. One of the two, yeah. Really cool. Super cool. I feel cool. like these would get so dirty. Hand them at 320, but give them to me for 260. Uh, this is right at the end of the event, like we always say. Always, always hit your people up at the end of the event. Like, like the event ended at seven. We picked up most of the inventory between six and seven. We were there all day long. We're we always. Know, we could feel it. Yes. <laughs> as well as this one, picked it right up at the end. A uh, guy had these at 650. Went all the way down to 540. This is a lot 11, size 13. From the first guy, got a little homie from. Kansas City, like we said. Don't see these in this size Yes, ever. dead stock, size seven. I was like, why not? A really, really cool shoe right here. Yeah. So, uh, core purple. They got glitter on them too, which is pretty yeah. crazy. Next up, you know, we've been liking our new balances lately. Ten and a half on those. We also paid, what was it? We paid 370 on those core purples. These ten and a half right here, we got from the same kid as well. And we paid 300, maybe 320. I can't remember. Next up, you got a GS Mocha, which are starting to go extinct. Yeah. You do not see the GS Mochas too often anymore. When we get them in the store, or like when people bring them in the store, we usually pay pretty well for them just because we know that um, they're just not coming like they used to. But we got a size 12 and a half, we got a size, and two size seven and a half. And the Oreo 350s, we paid 300 pop for all of them, which is pretty solid. I didn't want to buy a whole lot of Yeezys here, but like I was telling Noah and everybody else that was there, if we are buying any Yeezys, it's going to be the Oreos or the Dazzling Blues. Both that color block, just people love it. It's original. Um, it's just, you know, like the Black Friday pack back in the day. This is that seven, or this is a 10 right here. Actually, this is a Dazzling Blue. We only, we only bought Orioles and Dazzling Blues as well as Easy slides and foam runners if we can, but yeah. people tax on those at the events. We're putting out a lot of easy slides. Prices are starting to drop. I'll say easy slides, easy slides, foam runners, dunks, and any new release Jordan One. Yeah, the one. If it's low, they're exactly. If it's low, they feel like you know. If it's a, it's oh, 160 oh, lowest. Right. Yeah, if it's 160 lowest ass, 180 lowest ass, it's oh, 280, yeah, two, 300, yeah, 260 at the events. Right. Next, we picked up a uh, another PSG4 size nine and a half right here. It's used, right? So used, but it's very. Clean. I mean extremely clean like this is going to be a nice little easy nobody little. Wanted these. yeah nobody wanted them and now they're I starting to go them. up low sass is like 500 it's used um i'm probably gonna put them at like 450. um i paid 340 for them so shout out to homie on that one as well as shout out to this guy came up to us a lot of this was just random people, people just coming up to us but you can see three they need a little i mean not really much of a cleanup actually this needs to be stuffed and laced um we paid 340 for these and next up we got a brazil right here you don't really see the brazil too much shout out to the homie uh that sold to us at heated soul size 11 right here paid 400 bucks for these um he sold it to us at heated soul our local event um i cashed him out yeah. like 5k at that event next um time we see him, we're gonna yes oh yes i told him to hit us up because we went super late we went like I say, it was like six o'clock. Event opened at seven. When I ran into him, I was like, "What the heck, you're here?" Yeah, we went so, home all day, and we just for whatever reason didn't hit that spot. Yeah. And next up, we got a little camo dunk. Nothing too special right here. Size eight on these men. Paid 140. They are used. One of the few used shoes that we bought. Pretty clean. Probably throw those in the store for like 220, 240 maybe. Oh, there's that other size seven and a half Oreo. Which you guys have been the past like week. I would say the shop. I've got so many questions on size seven and size seven and a half Yeezys. So that's just money size for the females out there. So got you guys. We're trying. Because these, these obviously run a little bit small, so most girls that wear a seven want a seven and a half because they're gonna fit a lot more snugger. Which so you guys know, we do pay attention when you guys come in, when you get, you know, oh, I need size 13s, I need size sevens, whatever it is. We listen to you guys, we try to go out and buy it, so. This right here, though, is the pickup of the day. I did not even know this shoe existed. This is a really, really cool one. Um, what did you say the name was? Something? The Solstice. I the Solstice. Like, I think it's just Solstice. I mean, stuff. talk about a $200 shoe. This is quality for a $200 shoe right yeah, here. This is my size. I'm low-key contemplating keeping these. I really, really like these. I didn't even know what this shoe existed. It was, a, it was a Europe exclusive only. Once again, from that kid from Kansas City. This is what was right, right at the beginning. And then we got another off-white dunk right here. This is a lot seven. Yep, this was from that homie as well. Lot seven right here, size 12. Shout out to him once again. 
So those guys, he had these at 500, and I paid 500 because he didn't realize the market went up on them, but he honored his price and gave them to us for 500 as well. And last shoe, last but not least, we got a little UNC right here, UNC Dunk. Um, this is a size six and a half men's, nothing too special here. You did them at 440, like I said, look at that. Crazy how much these are at. 440, really. crazy how much these are at, and it's crazy how much this guy went down. 440. He had them at 440, which was not a bad price, and it got pretty close no, to the lowest ass. But I offered him 360, and he was like, yeah, I'll take 360. I was like, all right, cool, sounds good. Like I said, last hour of the event, he was like, you know what, man, I just want to dump some stuff. Yeah, he was just. Yeah, he was like, I, he's like, what, you want, this, you want this, you want this, you want this, you want this. What I wanted to say before we end this video is make sure you guys watch yourself at these events, because as you guys can see at that booth, I don't know if that guy knew he was selling fakes or if he didn't know he was selling fakes. He yeah. he sounded, he was kind of. His story started getting a little yeah, jumbled. I don't. The, uh, voice and approach started getting a it, little it, defensive. It, yeah, defensive. When and, we and, didn't really and, say anything. And I didn't really say anything rude to him, nothing at all. And I'm like, look, man, I'm not, no disrespect, but I. I'll, yeah, I'm going to put it in there well, pretty much everything we did. We, and, and, well, we and also missed. Prior, we also missed a couple. Well, just so you guys know, what you guys see, that was everything up until, and then I stopped recording because we were going to go get them legit checked. Everything was cool. Yeah. Nothing happens. Me and Kyle were talking about it. Uh, he was talking to somebody else and, and we're looking at him. He comes up to us and just, like he knew. We started, because we were smelling them. We were yeah, I was doing everything and I was we like. We were comparing them and then he, he had to have known. Yeah. Because as soon as we started doing that, I turned the camera off and we were about to go over there and he started getting like super pressed. Like he came up to us. He's like, he's like what are you talking about? Yeah. I was like, uh, we're just waiting on you bro to go over there. Yeah, and that's literally what happened. I was like, I'm just waiting on you, man. Can you grab the boxes? I'm, I want to go get them double legit checked because I was starting started. to get, I was starting to get a little sussed out because I was like, your breads, your UNCs and your Storm, Storm Blues, Blues were all fake. 100,000%. I've been doing this a long, long time. And I, and I could tell by the smell. I mean, yeah. the smell. dude, those shoes, oh, each like one it. of those colorways are at least five years old. They should not have a new factory smell. When you open the box and smell it, I don't care if they've like, never I, been I, opened. I, they're literally like the DS pairs we picked up today, like new stuff. Yeah. It literally smells After terrible. about a year to two years, the smell's gonna go away. Yeah. It's not gonna have that dead stock smell. It's, like It just kind of depends on the shoe, but like materials wise, it's not gonna have that smell anymore. Yeah, and you and, just have to be careful and just yeah. read people too. And like if it's too if it, it's too good to be true, yeah, it exactly. is. Reverse shattered backboards. With Last sale's 1400, low size is 1600, highest bid was 1000, he had them for 600, dead stock. Like people at these events aren't stupid, they're not gonna sell yeah. something and, and lose. And, and like, like sneaker con, you can always go to like, they have a huge authenticated. Yeah, authentic, yeah, use, use it. Bro, I already, a smaller event, yeah. go find a, a, a local store that you trust. Like if we're at Heated Soul and you, you wanna get something checked, come up to us, we always legit check, yeah. like just yeah. try to find somebody. And I also knew off rip that, you know, some of his pairs did look good and some of them didn't. So it looked like he just kind of mixed them in. And that's why I was like, just like, you know what, at this point, I don't even want to buy from this guy. It's not really worth it because you never know. This could be some crazy good fake. Like, yeah, cause like I he had like, hard. like I said, multiple times that black and white Jordan one, the GS pair, that pair is impossible to find, but it did have the yellowing. It did have the age on it. Like that one had the age and the yellowing. A lot of the GS pairs I thought were pretty good. But when I looked at his men's pairs, it was just a red flag. And I'm like, I don't even know if I want to buy yeah, them anymore. And here was the other thing too, is when we were talking to him about the black and whites and we were talking to him about the Chicago or the Chicago lows, which those ones seemed a little bit better. I would say out of the other ones. Yeah. But Chicago he did not want to budge on those prices yeah. at all. On the for Chicago's? He wanted, what, $1,000 for the black and white, right? Yeah. And then the shutter backwards, he wanted what? What, didn't he go down on the price yeah, like so the way under that is funny so yeah. the black and white ones and the chicago's he was high on he didn't want to let go and i was very questionable on those shattered backwards and i was questionable on like the uncs and stuff like that and he was like do you want those bro do you want those do you want like lower, he kept going like, lower on those trying to make something work on those specific pairs just who knows just be careful be aware of your surroundings you and, never know and, and know what's going on and just and don't ever feel threatened true. at an event like you have to buy something yeah, you say or, no. that wraps it up uh we talked to the laboratory we also talked to private selection uh we stopped by the laboratory his booth and they're blasting music so I didn't want to film and get copyrighted but for some of you that don't know for them. laboratory is a store in Dallas it's a massive store I'm excited to go yeah. to massive selection we Everything. talked about it what like two videos ago yeah uh, we talked about it they came through our store actually they're on yeah. a little road trip and they came through chopped it up with us so we're super excited to head out yes. there but shout out to them if you guys are made to the end of this video shout out to y'all like and you know comment down below saying made to the end or something because I'm always giving $30 away to a yep. free comment always showing love to you guys trying the best we can um, as well as 5,000 subs is coming up pretty soon. We might be doing a giveaway for that. We might just do it at 10. I don't, or we might do both. 
I don't know yeah, yet. We can do but stay tuned in the next video. We're gonna be out here in Texas for at least one to two more videos. So just check us yep. out. Check that's us pretty out. much it. Thank you guys again. Remember all this stuff right here to the right of me. All the stuff we picked up today is available on PHX Hustles. Also the merch is available on there. A lot of you guys came up to me asking oh, yes, merch about it. A lot so of people. Check out DM us if you have any questions or respond to all the DMs. So yeah, I think that's it. Make sure to check out the sneaker shop video and we'll see you next time.